Good afternoon, food lovers, and welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today, we welcome back Nickel. You may remember him from a fried chicken feature we did some time ago and host of a pop popular YouTube channel, Food Sense. Since then, Nickel has evolved his mashups to air fryer recipes inspired by social media such as Instagram and TikTok. He has a knack for finding hacks that are cool and fun, as well as finding out what he thinks his viewers would want to try out too. On this episode, we will be making stuffed pizza mushrooms in the air fryer and a nostalgic dish for the 90s babies, Dunkaroos Dip. Let's get cooking and welcome Nickel. Hey, Woo! Nickel, what's, hey up? what's going on? What's good, guys? Yay. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks, thanks for, for coming on board. It's nice to be back. Yes, yes. I've seen so many of your videos and we're like, you know, we have to get you back on Neri's Kitchen and, and try some of these air fryer recipes. So nice. I'm well, pretty excited. Have you ever had anything from the air fryer before? You know what? It's funny because I actually have an air fryer, but it's still in the box in the basement. So I haven't actually used it yet, <clears throat> but I've been told that once you have an air fryer, just throw out your oven. You don't need it anymore. Oh, that's all. <laughs> So all I use is an air fryer. I don't even use the microwave, the oven. Um, so after this, you're probably going to take that air fryer box out. Okay. And, uh, you're definitely going to use it after this. Okay. All right. So we're going to start off with the um, pizza stuffed mushrooms. So basically, uh, it's stuffed mushrooms with pizza ingredients. Um, do you want to get started on that? Yeah. All right. So what inspired you to, to make pizza mushrooms? <clears throat> well, I love pizza. Yeah. I mean, who doesn't? Yeah. And then I really enjoy stuffed mushrooms. Why not combine the both mm -hmm. and get the best of both worlds? And uh, I saw it. I actually saw this recipe online, and um, I just wanted to try it for myself. Okay. And it actually turned out pretty good. Okay. So what we're going to do first, these, um, you want to rinse the mushrooms first, which I did pre previously. And we are going to take out the insides. So take the stem out. Okay. And how did you get, like, how did you start using the air fryer out of, <clears throat> I mean, just from seeing other people use the air fryer? Well, I actually got it as a Christmas gift. Oh, okay. Uh, a couple of years ago from my family, so mm -hmm. thanks to them. Um, they, they, they saw me that uh, I needed to cook more food instead of eating out more. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got the air fryer, started cooking with that, and... Um, it, I never, I never went back to the oven or the microwave. It was just so good. It was it's, that it's, good. It's easy to make. You, you click one button, you set it and uh, forget it. Forget it. <laughs> set it and forget it. Okay, okay. Well, I'm excited. All I'm right. Slow here. So you just want to be careful when you, uh, you don't want to tear up the mushrooms. So. Mm -hmm. You got three ready already. You know, uh, yeah, I just. I don't know. I don't know if, I, if this is even good. Have if it's deep before? enough. No, I've never done. I don't do this. This takes forever. Okay, okay there we go. Okay. okay, I got one here, so I'll okay. show you one, and okay. then uh, we'll do it together here. All right. So what I like to do, so we have our ingredients here. Don't worry, we're not going to use our mush, uh, our marshmallows yet. Okay. That's for later. Um, we have shredded cheese. I pre-cooked some bacon. Oh, before we start though, let's um, preheat the uh, air fryer to three minutes just to make it nice and hot here. Okay. So if you haven't used an air fryer before, Never uh, used this it. is a Ninja brand. It's pretty good. It's not sponsored. Um, so we'll set it to uh, three minutes to preheat. Just like that. 350 degrees. Sorry. Oh, that didn't even go. There you go. Three minutes. It's going there. So let that heat up. And now we have uh, bacon, we have cheese, we have um, pizza sauce. And then we have uh, pepperoni slices. We have some viewers online, Nickel. We have Jane. Hi, Jane. Hey, what's up? We Busy. also have Sandra, Vivica, Marilla. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. All right, so we have a uh, little pepperoni slice. What I like to do is put that in here first as a layer. Give you another one. Oh, thanks. Oh, I see. So, so then the mushroom's not there. so soggy, right? Yep. And then we're going to get some of this pizza sauce. So you could use pizza sauce. You could use um, pasta sauce, any type of sauce. Just don't get lost in the sauce. <laughs> Ketchup. <laughs> Four Ketchup. men's sauce, yeah. yeah. No, you can. <laughs> So there you go. And then we're going <clears> to <throat> put some cheese. So 
just gonna stuff it in there. Like so. And then we're gonna cut up our bacon. Do you like bacon? I love bacon. Who doesn't love bacon, right? Or should I say bacon? You know what? It's funny, we actually say that too. Bacon. Bacon. <laughs> Hey Jen, thanks for tuning in. Hi Kara. So you just want to cut little bacon bits out of it. So I noticed that this bacon's pre-cooked. Did you use the air fryer? Of course I did. Perfect. So you can cook bacon in the air fryer for about like seven minutes mm -hmm. or six minutes, three minutes on each side. Uh, it comes out great, just like you're cooking it in the uh, pan. Okay. Okay, so we'll fill that up with bacon bits. Have you ever had um, pizza bites before? Is it just little tiny pizza bites? Like, so is it like a so, so it's a mini, pocket? mini signature pizza. So it's a, it's a bite sized pizza. It's kind of like this, but we're using a stuffed mushrooms. Okay. So it's going to turn out like that. So we're just going to add more cheese to it. And then if you like pepperoni, these, these pepperoni slices are too big. Mm -hmm. um, what I like to do just for the presentation is cut into small circles, mm -hmm. but uh, I usually use scissors for that. In this case, we can just rip it apart and just put pieces. This is hard to cut, so I'm just gonna rip it. Just to make it look pretty. Yep. So that sound there means that the air fryer is ready. Wow. That was fast. Because I know if we preheat the oven, it takes forever. You, yeah, it takes like about 10 minutes or so, 15 minutes sometimes. Mm -hmm. Did you, okay, so. Oh yeah, I did, I did a few of these. Okay. And what do you do with the stems? So with the stems, some people like to chop it up and to put it into the mushrooms as well, but that's mostly for other stuffed mushrooms. Today we're doing the pizza one. So we don't need more mushrooms as it is. Mm -hmm. um, for the stems, I usually just throw it out. Or no, you can make. You don't. <laughs> this is a lot. You can make well, mushroom like, soup. You can, you, can, you can save it for we later. You can save it. You yeah. Save it I was later. just testing you. What do you do with this, right? <laughs> I throw it out. Like, I throw I, it out. I, I would keep these. I throw it out. I hate throwing things out. Yeah. Okay. But people do make yeah. like artichoke dip with it. They they mix it up. They yeah. mash it up. So. Okay. All right. So we're gonna cook. Okay, let's do uh, let's do a few more or a couple okay. more so we can just put like okay. three in there. Sure. Let me um, get some mushrooms. I'll get... Okay, guys, if you own an air fryer, I'd like to know which brand you guys are using because I think there's a few out there, right? This one's a ninja one. There's yeah. like a T fowl, and that's all I know. T fowl. And... I think we have a T fowl. Is it is it even called T fowl or is it a... am I saying that right? Or tea fowl. I think there's a Pampered Chef one too. Raphael, Raphael Delegato. Raphael Delegato. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, sauce and then, oh, cheese. You have the sauce? Yeah, just need some cheese here. I guess this would be fun to have to do when you're with your friends, when we're allowed to have friends over. This is a great, well, I just have it for a snack. Uh, over oh, a snack? For a snack, appetizer, snack accidents. Snack accidents. Um, but yes, it's a good. Uh, great to do with kids, too. Easy to make, super simple. Okay, so I do have kitchen scissors. I probably should have told you oh, that. Oh, do you? Oh. Yeah. So I'm going to cut mine up for presentation. Okay. Yours will probably look way better than mine. Uh, I don't know, but I'm sure it'll taste fantastic. But I can spare you some of my pepperoni. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do have one. Okay. Oh, nice. So it is a tea fowl. It is a tea fowl. It was also a Christmas gift. You guys been hiding that downstairs? You know what? We uh, we moved <laughs> we, we moved two years ago and we just haven't opened anything. That's that's two years is a lot of time. You guys I wasted. know, but you know what? It wasn't popular two years ago. I've just been hearing about the air fryers, maybe the last <clears throat> four five months you could, ago. You could even bake if you like baking. You could use an air fryer to bake. Um, you could cook fish. Um, what else? Fried chicken. I, I cook a lot of fried chicken, chicken wings in there. 
Matzo sticks. They put a whole chicken in there? It's pretty, uh, it's pretty roomy, so let's take a look. So this is a, the crisper tray here, but if you take that out, you can put like 10 wings, 10 to 12 wings inside. And then how long would it take to cook, let's say 10 to 12 wings? Uh, 22 minutes, 15. Okay, uh, that's not no, bad. 17 to 22 minutes. Actually, it might say right here too. Oh, I was wrong. 22 to 26 minutes. Okay, so it definitely cooks your food in half the time an oven would. Yeah. Because the oven would take about, I would say 40 minutes and then doing it over the stove, it's obviously really dangerous with oil splattering everywhere. Well, did your parents used to cook with a, like a turbo? Remember those turbos? Oh, yeah, yeah, I have that. Yeah, you still have it's, it? Uh, there you go, because yeah. it comes out nice and crispy, right? Yes. This is exactly, this is basically it, but just more modern, modern, I guess. So, okay, pizza's all done? Yeah. So we're gonna put these in here. I guess. We'll take the tray out first. So be careful, it's gonna be pretty hot. Do you normally have to grease it too? Uh, you don't need to, so this one's fine. You can if you want, but I, I, I don't. So we're gonna set it for seven minutes. I should cook one in the oven. Cook one in the oven? <laughs> uh, air fry, 390 degrees is fine. And then we're gonna do seven minutes. Bam. Which one are they using? Which air fryer? <clears throat> They haven't said. <laughs> May, May says she uses her air fryer all the time. What does she cook with it? May, what do you use your air fryer for? I'd like to know. Chicken? Chicken? Yeah. Bacon? Bacon. Ba bacon. <laughs> so while that's cooking, um, what do you want to... Well, what? I'm interested in, uh, in this and that. Oh, so you want the, uh, the ruffles? Yes. Uh, marshmallow squares. I, I've seen your video on it and I thought those are the two weirdest ingredients together But you know, I can't knock it till I've tried it, right? That's what I like to say never with my stuff if you if you guys follow me on IG uh, Nickel Mac if you want to follow me. Um, I do like these IG reels They look weird, but I highly suggest you guys try them. Don't knock it till you try it This is like Rice Krispie squares that we're making but way better Okay. Okay, so let's let's do that. Okay. Now, what inspired you to to mash these together? I actually saw this on was it IG? Okay. Someone did this on IG, mm -hmm. and uh, it just looks it looked interesting. And um, everyone else was grossed out about it, but with me, I just I wanted to try it myself. After the first time I tried it, it did not disappoint. So. Is this on? It's on. I put it on medium, five out of nine, unless you want it higher. You can put it higher. Let's do oh, uh, let's make it um, low, low heat. So okay. you want to cook, the key is you want to cook the marshmallows on low heat. On low, okay. We're going to get butter first. Okay. And how much butter? So 40, it's 45 grams of butter. I don't know what that is, but. I'm not 45 three, grams. Three quarters <laughs> of a. Three uh, quarters, we're going to weigh quarters it. Of a cup. 45 grams, so we'll just weigh it because I honestly don't really know. <gasps> Maybe take two tablespoons aside. That should be fine. Okay, that's 34 grams. So let's just do 43. That's okay. good. There, there's our 45. Okay. You can never go around with too much butter. Exactly. So this looks like it's about two tablespoons or so. Good. No wrapper. No wrapper, yeah. <laughs> so we'll let this butter melt first. And how often do you make this recipe at home? This, I think I made this for, uh, last time I made this was, was it Super Bowl? Super Bowl, okay, so maybe a few weeks ago. Last month, maybe, yeah. Watching the NBA tonight? Uh, NBA All Stars. All Stars. So, yeah. I mean, I'm a, I'm not a Lakers fan. I'm a, I'm a Clippers fan. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. I'm, I'm Kobe all the way. So Mamba mama forever. Rest in peace, Kobe. Are you a Laker fan? Laker fan, bro. Nice. 
You're wearing red, though. You look like you're a Rockets fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you gotta, you gotta wear my favorite. <laughs> Purple and gold. Purple and gold. I should have, I should have wear them today too. I was wearing them this morning. Nice. Apparently, Costco has their own um, air fryer brand also. Oh, really? It's a, a Gourmia. That's what Mike says. And then Jane says, you've got to try it. It's worth it. Nice. Okay. Uh, oh, Jane owns a refrigerator? I don't know how to use this. Yeah. He doesn't this is, this is, oh, you this, said you wanted it on This low. is not easier. Okay. This is not as easy as air okay, fryer. So, so, it's, so. It's, <laughs> it's harder than the air fryer. Okay, okay, so it's on medium heat unless you want it higher. No, let's do, let's do like two. Level, oh, lower? Like low, like oh, low. this is extremely low. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's do it low. <laughs> low. So we just, you just touch the keypad or this thing here. Okay, it's like an iPad. Yeah. All right. The buttons. <laughs> so we get um, a bag of mini marshmallows. I got this from Walmart. It's like two bucks. And how much are we using? Uh, we're going to use about 75% of the bag. Okay. See this? You can just microwave this also, right? Or air fry. Or, or air, air fry, fry it? Yeah. <laughs> um, you can. I haven't tried, but... Well, I wonder if you put in the air fryer, it would just kind of toast it, almost. This just makes it look like you're doing, uh, like you're actually doing something. Mm -hmm. so it's like you're baking, right? Mm -hmm. Aaron, yes. Have women had troubles with the stove that, that came here and tried to use it? Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's funny. It actually says it's a man thing. For what? That Using the stove? Don't understand the stove? I don't think it's a man thing. It's just because you know this. Okay, so every time Nickel, every time we have someone come into the kitchen and they use this, my stove, they don't know how to use it, right? And RJ just recently figured out how to use the stove. Well, like yeah, what is that beeping sound? Uh, it known. means you gotta put it back on oh, the burner. Really? It's it's alerting us that oh. it's a hot. So this surface. is like a, a high level stove. This uh, is like no, it's just a just a standard. KitchenAid induction stove top. But yeah, like no one really knows how to use it. So I always tell them you have to select the burner and then you have to press the temperature setting over here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then when it, when it beeps at you, it means that the surface is pretty hot or you've moved something. So it alerts okay. you all the time. So I want to move it though, so. Here, ask everybody to like your video right now. And guys, if you're watching, if you like this video, please comment and like. If you love marshmallows, please like. Oh, if you like marshmallows, please like too. <laughs> it's funny, my kids love marshmallows and they're always eating it. So they're gonna love this. If they love Rice Krispies, they're definitely gonna love this. Do you add vanilla to it or do you add anything else? Do you have else? vanilla? I do, we yeah. Can, yes. Normally it doesn't take too long to melt these marshmallows, okay, so but I don't wanna the burn them stuff. as well. Okay, cool, nice. Okay, let's make it a little bit higher. Higher? Sorry. Okay. I'm gonna let you control the okay. stove top. This is too good. Yeah, like an iPhone. Drag it up. There you go. Oh, there, yeah. Wow. What what is this called again? An oven? Uh, it's my induction stove top. <laughs> oh, a stove top? Yeah, stove top. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? An oven? I'm just used to the air fryer. So is this the most cooking you've done then? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, mushrooms are done. Okay, let's let this melt a little bit more. And then do you want to check on the mushrooms? Check on the mushrooms? Okay. Okay. We don't want to burn the marshmallows here. Look at that. Okay, so what we want to do, if you want more cheese, we'll put more cheese. And then we'll do the presentation. I think I want more cheese. Want cheese. I think it looks it looks good okay, already. So what we're gonna do is just, we're just gonna lay it out here, just because there's juices in the marsh uh, in the marshmallows in the mushrooms, mm -hmm. and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna drip out. So we'll let it cool for a bit, okay. and then we'll uh, we'll top it off just to make it look good for the presentation. Okay. Um, oh, you have a sidekick. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Cool. Thanks, RJ. Yeah. Thanks, RJ. All right, oh, so everybody's excited for the marshmallow ruffle chips. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put it here because it's cooler. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Yeah. All right, we'll put some vanilla extract. Okay, I'm gonna turn off the stove then, just so it doesn't make the noise. Oh shoot! 
That's pure. <laughs> hey, you can't, it's pure vanilla. Right? Yeah, that's the good stuff. Do you need a bowl? Do you want to do the honors and, and dump it in? Okay, well, do you, do you like, crack it first or you just no, dump you it? just dump it in. Okay, and how much? All of it. All of it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just, okay, that's good. This could be a mom hack right here. A mom hack? Yeah. So if you don't have, if you don't have Rice Krispie Squares, if you don't have Rice Krispie Squares, you can always use chips. Uh, I don't have a bigger pan. I have a bigger pot. Uh, let's you want try a pot? the pot, yeah. Okay. So excuse me. Okay, there we go. Oh, there you go. Do you need more chips? Um, no, I think I should. You're good? Okay. Do you have like a, a tray to set these on? A tray, um, yeah, I do. They're just, it's over here. Sorry yeah, to be in your a way. Baking tray? Baking tray. Uh, yep. Okay. Do, you, do you want me to spray it or do you want me to put parchment paper? Uh, yes, parchment paper, please. Okay, so it's just over here. So you just want to mix the chips around with the marshmallows. So this is ready whenever you are. All right, so we are gonna dump it in. It doesn't look that appetizing, but I guarantee you it'll taste great. And then you just wanna flatten it out. So we'll let that cool. So we can use more chips if you want, but we just, this is just a little sample. Okay. Normally I use a full bag. Mm -hmm. Can you eat all of this in one sitting or have you eaten all of this in one sitting? I haven't eaten, it's, it's maybe in two sittings, but in not two, in one sitting. In two sittings. <laughs> <laughs> I can eat it all, but not in one sitting. It, but you gotta, Jerome you gotta said it'd be one later. sitting. One sitting for Jerome? Yeah. Holy smokes. Okay, so we'll let that cool off for a bit. Okay. Okay, then we're gonna cut it into a square. Okay, so we'll put this to the side. Or does it go in the fridge? Uh, we'll just put it to the, yeah, we'll let it cool it out here. Okay, we'll put this over here. Okay. All right. All right. So our mushrooms are done here. I'm just gonna lay it out on the on the plate, on or the plate. on that. Yeah. Do you have a? I'm not too sure this oh. is hot. Oh no, that's fine. No, no, don't burn your fingers. No, no, it's it's it's, it's good. It's good. Okay. <laughs> no. <it's hot. laughs> yeah. Okay. It's hot. It's hot. <laughs> yeah. Here. Okay. So the tricky part is with these stuffed mushrooms, it's gonna fall. It might fall apart. So you want to be nice and gentle with it. You know, it's not soggy. I thought it'd be a lot more wet, but it's not. Maybe when you open it up a little bit, it might drip, but... Okay, let's, uh, let's make it look nice. So what I like to do is... to garnish it a little bit. And what's that, parsley? Parsley, yeah. I just found this outside, is that a quote? Is That's that fine, a yeah. 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 Right. It's green, so you're yeah. okay. The snow is melted, <laughs> yeah. so. Julie says she's excited to see the final product of the marshmallow and ruffle chips. Me too. Where is that? Oh, it's over there, okay. So. To make it look nice here. And then we could even top it off with a little bit more bacon. And do you eat this often? I eat it as, as for a snack, yes. Oh, for a snack? Okay. The audience, what they've cooked in there. If you want cheese, you can put more cheese. Yeah, let's put more cheese yeah, then. Just so it looks better. So it looks better. 
It's all about the presentation. It is, but yeah. But it, it will melt. The cheese will melt. Guys, if you have an air fryer, what do you guys use your air fryer for? Let me know. Because mine is still in the box and um, I have yet to try it, but I think I will. If you guys give me some ideas. All right. Perfect. Do you want to try them now or you want to let it wait? You know, I'm going to wait. I'm going to okay. wait. All right. So we're going to go back to the marshmallows here. Oh, it's done? Uh, let me just test it out see if it's done. Okay. Can I use this knife? Okay. Let's see if it works. It's uh, going to be very sticky, so. So this is the marshmallow effect right here. So it, it's still, you, you want to let, let it cool for a little bit more, but I mean, I just want to try it right now. Okay, so. you can try it. <laughs> so Might here's, as well. here's, here's the marshmallow pull. Let's see if there's a marshmallow pull. A little bit, but okay. It's it's sticking to my fingers. So we'll let it cool first, but if you want to take a bite. What do you think? I like it. I mean, um, it tastes exactly what it is. It's marshmallow and chips. So you, <laughs> you get you get a little bit of the saltiness and the sweetness of the marshmallow. Um, I would be a terrible judge, right? <laughs> it'd be better. It'd be better. Um, I think I have some more beer. It'd be better if you let it cool and let it sit for a bit. Um, I think we just went. Let's at let's it too wait early. till it okay. cools. But it tastes good, yeah. Would you recommend putting some seasoning salts and all that stuff? No. No? No, you know, it's salty it already, yeah. It's salty already. It has it's, a, it's yeah. salty and sweet, so. But it, once you let it cool down a little bit, it'll turn out great. Um, do you have a nap? Yeah, just over there. Okay, Nickel, so I like your mushrooms, but um, let's just add some more substance to it. Okay, cool. Myri secret my mashup whatever you call it have you had kale salad no what no is, what's a salad <laughs> right what's a, what's salad? a salad what's a salad it's this thing that's grown on the, the soil i guess and then you buy it from the store and uh um, oh, the green stuff oh it's green stuff yes so this is my kale salad okay cool you've never tried this i've had i've had that before yes okay so i think um I think we should pair the mushrooms with a salad just to, you know, make it add more substance to it, make it more filling. So what we do is we just, so it comes with the dressing already. Okay. And, you just, and it comes with the berries salad. and the dressing is very sweet, very good. However, we do want to just use a little bit of dressing. You don't want to go overboard on the dressing because you have to make sure that you have enough dressing for all of the salad, right? And then it comes with these pumpkin okay, seeds yeah, no, had these and sweetened berries. I just do that. Don't want to go overboard also. And then we have this. What kind of dressing is that? Um, I think it's poppy seed. And then I just do it like a light drizzle. Okay, one more. There, like that. Nice, there you go. And now we have a complete meal. Okay, let's do our last dish. What are we doing? So this is for, um, we're throwing it back to the 90s. So have you ever had Dunkaroos when you were a kid? Yes. Yeah, so we're gonna make a uh, Dunkaroos dip. Okay. So using three simple items here, we have vanilla snack pudding. And then we have uh, rainbow cake mix. And then we also have uh, Cool Whip is the main ingredient here. So we're going to mix and mash those three up together. And we're going to make Dunkaroos dip. And we also have animal crackers. Yay. You need the animal crackers. You yeah, have it has to. to be animal crackers. It has to be. Okay. Yeah. So do we have a bowl? Yes, we have a bowl. bowl. Oh, it's really good. You like it? Yeah. 
RJ approves oh, the Rice Krispie, no, <laughs> the Ruffles marshmallow squares. Oh, it's not fried chicken though. No. <laughs> it's crazy, right? Okay, Jerome, you have to try it. I have to try it. I warn you, do not make it. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, warn you, you'll be warned. Yeah. Warning. This episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so what you want to do first is we're going to microwave the cake mix just so you can get rid of all the bacteria here. Okay. Just so we, we can't side. microwave it in this then. We can microwave it in this. I haven't had a Dunkaroo in years. It's probably been, oh my gosh, oh, I would say is, at least 20 years. This is going to take you back. 20 years? I, I don't Dunkaroos now. <laughs> okay. And this is good for kids too. Fun to make with kids as well. All right. So we'll, we'll microwave this for a minute. Just over there. So by doing this, it kills all the bacteria. Um, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but just to be on the safe side, we will just here. Turn the knob, yeah. <laughs> yep. All right. So no, get... no, keep turning. Oh, that was one second. <laughs> that was one second. <laughs> I wasn't going to tell you. I wanted to see if you knew how to use the oh, microwave. Okay. No, I told you. Air fryer is all I know. <laughs> You're the air fryer I'm like king. the air fryer sensei. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll let that cool off okay. or heat up. Okay. So here's your bowl. And the best... It's best to serve this chilled, so after we're done this, you can, um, we'll try it, but it'll taste good still, but it's best when it's served chilled. And did you see this recipe on, on social media also? I saw this on um, TikTok. On TikTok? On TikTok, yeah. So, I just go on TikTok just to find, like, cool recipes. Mm -hmm. I don't do any of the dances, but, I mean, I could. Yeah. But I don't want to do it. Well, there's, there's, I, I don't there's do the people that dance on TikTok, and there's the people that cook on TikTok. Yeah, I'm, I'm more of the uh, the cook, so. So, you need four snack. I haven't had these in forever. Like, That's probably, like, 20 years ago, 20 too. Years ago too. Yeah, no, I don't eat that often. Okay, so we're taking it way back. So. Okay, I'll just put this in the bowl for you, then. Cake mix is good. Oh, this is too big. Basically, we're just going to dump everything in one bowl, mix it up, and then magic will happen. Okay, you know, I'll let you do that. I'll just clean your work station. Okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. I like how you bought these snack packs. Because I think, yeah, it has to be a snack pack. It has to be a snack pack, nothing else. I like the, uh, there's like that, was it that tapioca one? Is it tapioca? Oh, yeah, with the bubbles, right? Yeah. I like that Kinda too. Kind of reminds you of bu bubble tea. Mm-hmm. Okay, I have a little bit of OCD. Sorry, like I'm, you're, you're, I'm just making a big mess here, <laughs> just chucking it everywhere. I know, that. totally. This is a guy, guy and girl. Okay, I like to make sure I get everything okay. out of here, because all I see is like there's so much left over. <laughs> there is. This is not how I eat my chicken wings, though. You eat it right to the bone? No, I used to. I used to get. Uh, people would always say I, I don't finish my chicken wings, but. Okay, that's good. There you go. There, that was a good one. All right, so we'll dump it. We'll dump the Cool Whip in. All of it? All of it. Oh wow. Okay. It's a lot of Cool Whip. I like whipped cream. Okay, so so we're gonna save the tub for later because we're gonna put it back in. Um, that's smart. Yeah. And then. I'm going to be making that's, it. That's okay. Job. I'll clean this all up after. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could use a blender too, but. Pauline says she's OCD too, Neri. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Can you see that it's looking like Dunkaroos already? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of dip. It that's is a crazy. lot of dip. So I don't. 
I've never finished this in one sitting or two sittings. Well, have you so, finished the whole thing? No. Though? No? So I like to make this for people, uh, events. And uh, yeah, it's perfect for kids. And it tastes exactly like Dunkaroo did. So what was the cake mix that you had? So the cake mix was the, uh, you have to get the rainbow mix. Oh, the rainbow one, okay. So it's either that or is it confetti? Confetti, confetti? so the sprinkle one. The sprinkle ones, yeah. But then have you tried this recipe with chocolate or anything? Uh, no, but I, I want to try it with the chocolate. Like okay. there's, there's also that chocolate dip mm -hmm. too, right? And you said it was hard to find the, the sprinkle mix? Nowadays, it's hard to find. I don't know. Maybe everyone's making this, but... <laughs> maybe everyone's making it. But the stores it. that I've went to, like Walmart, uh, Save Arms... I think the dollar store might have it. Dollar store, okay. They always have all these cake mixes there. Probably for Or maybe cheap. people are making it. I don't know. <laughs> all right. I think that's good. Okay. Okay. So do you want to try it? Uh, sure. Okay. Let me make sure my hands are dry. I'm going to try it too. So let's see animal crackers here. What? Okay, guys, if you used to eat this back in the day, let me know. And does it bring you back? Okay, so just dunk it in. Slam okay, wait, back. which animal did you get first? I got a broken Oh, part, you got a so. broken animal. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. think I got... Um, what is that? I don't know. Penguin? Oh, that's a Penguin? seal. A seal. Yeah. I got a seal. Okay. Sammy I feel like seal. a kid again. Okay. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Mmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, do you want to try it? It's really good. It's really good. It's way better when it's... Come on, it's lion. Chill. I want a lion. <laughs> Dude, I get it. It's fun. It's fun eating stuff like this. I got a butt cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the density gets thick. Sounds good. <laughs> That's addicting. That really is. You're like, I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. It's good, right? It's good, yeah. Okay, I have to try put your in, mushroom. Uh, in the freezer for a little bit? Put it, yeah, put it in the freezer, fridge for maybe about an hour, and it's ready to serve. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. But Guaranteed. it's also kind of warm because we also microwave the, uh, the, the flour. Mix, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to try your mushroom. Oh, I just saw it score it out. Okay. Mushroomy? It tastes like pizza. Right? Mm-hmm. I like it. It's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want I'm gonna try one. It's thick mushrooms too, so. Yeah, well I really like mushrooms, but I didn't find it too overpowering. It tastes like pizza. Mushrooms are actually um, good for inflammation. Yes, mushrooms are good for inflammation. Mushrooms have a lot of protein. Mushrooms, um, what else? <laughs> they're Doesn't good, good for a, Mario. They're Isn't good for Mario. A, a keto, is this like a keto? Is it called keto? Yeah, it'd be a keto. Yeah, be a yeah. Keto, yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty healthy. If you minus the salad, then it would be a keto recipe. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this uh, Ruffles marshmallow square again. Oh. So it'll come out messy, but okay. if you want, you can always use your hands just to make it as a square. I think I need to eat it like, I was eating it chip by chip, so I'm going to eat, take a big piece of this. Go. Okay. Is it better than Rice Krispie Squares? It's, it's like Rice Krispie it Squares. It is but... actually better than Rice right? Krispie Squares yeah. because it has that salty... Yeah. oily, greasy yeah, taste. Exactly, yeah. And I like that, right? It tastes kind of heavy. If you have a Rice Krispie Square, it's light, right? It's just light and sugary, but this one has that salt to it, so I do like it. This is like the Rice Krispie Squares for adults. Mm-hmm, for adults. You can make so, this healthy. You can, you can make that healthy. You can put protein powder, vanilla. Mm, yeah. We, have protein we should do that. Protein powder. Yeah, you can make this oh, healthier yeah, by right. putting protein powder in. Well, thank you so much, yeah. Nickel. It was so much fun doing all of these... Um, these weird recipes with you because I've never done any of these and uh, I've learned so much and I didn't realize that is fantastic guys and the Dunkaroo dips oh my god it's really good and the mushroom pizza I've never done that before I never thought I would do it but, uh, but easy, I think easy to make right it's easy to make and it's nice to serve it to other people too so right. I learned so much so with with the chips as well you can use different types of chips it doesn't have to be ruffles um, so I used Doritos sweet chili one time 
and it was it was pretty delicious as well. So you can you can play around with the ch different types of chips, and uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoyed uh, the Dunkaroos dip mushrooms. Where can our viewers find your videos? So right now I'm just doing like IG reels. I do it for fun. I like making fun videos, and uh, follow me on Instagram, Nickel Mac. And uh, I also do have a YouTube channel called Food Sense. You can follow me there as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Nickel. It was so much fun. Thanks, guys, for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Peace out. Bye, guys.